So it turns out blue denim is out. No problem, we got a color wheel. Hi there, I'm director of photography and owner of your visual brand, Alec Watson. And today I'm working in ACDC's Photo Studio Ultimate 2021. Gonna use the color wheel to take this blue jean jacket and make it an earth tone so it blends in with the brick, which will totally change the feel of this shot. So color wheels, I love, and they're a really simple way to change colors on all sorts of things. This image here is one that I photographed for uh, a partnership that I've done with ACDC uh, that we call Portraits 101. And we've got a whole ton of lessons if you're interested in learning about portraits and all the processing that you can do in Photo Studio uh, from like beginning of like finding light and where to shoot, lens choices, all those things, all the way to all the post-processing you can do on all sorts of images. Uh, Portraits 101 is where this came from. And this is what we're doing here is just kind of a tiny little sample of things that you could do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select his jean jacket here. You'll notice that the color wheel selected a blue. I've got this auto preview on, which is super handy because auto preview will allow me to dial in what we call kind of the width of this blue. And you can see as I widen this out, it starts to change his shirt. And I don't want to affect his shirt. I like the neutral of his shirt. So there we go. We'll leave that axis there and then we'll pull on the width of this. Makes making no difference to anything. Uh, sometimes being a little extra wide is good because it'll grab more colors. You know, there's in, inside the, the threads of this jacket, inside some of the, like, the lighter ones, there's gonna be some lighter blues and stuff like that. So once we've done this, what I wanna do is crank up the saturation, not because that's the color that I wanna see, but because I wanna see what it is that I'm changing and I wanna make it really obvious to myself. And then I'm gonna take the hue. If I move the hue to the left, you'll see it runs through green tones. And as I move it to the right, it's going to head into earthy tones. So somewhere in maybe there. Now that's really oversaturated, but what I do is I take my saturation down and you'll see that that starts to blend in with the earth tones of the alley. And then I'll take my brightness up on his jacket and voila, you would never know. And if you were to go in and trace around that, you could paint it. But man, like if you can do a color selection as easy as that with a color wheel, it's way faster. And you can use color wheels like this on things like uh, cars. Uh, you could even, you know, if you want to make something look like autumn, it's actually totally possible to do that. You select trees, uh, move the greens into the yellows or reds, brighten it up. And you can even mask out the grass if you've got grass in there to keep it green. You can totally use color wheels in all sorts of ways. So get out there, take some photos, make the world a better and more beautiful place. Bring them into Photo Studio and then have a play with color wheels. Get creative with color. It's an awesome place to take your photos to some kind of new level.